All right, looks like we're on, we're live. We've got the music going on. Ladies and gentlemen, what is up? It is Life Grace Ministries Minister Preacher Rick Rowley here live on the net. And uh, let's see, we've got, uh, we're kind of going over here to get the camera, and we got that music going on. In the background, folks, ladies and gentlemen, you can hear it, you can see it. We are live. It is up, and I'm um, just queuing up. Uh, what we got going on? Just queuing up the uh, queuing up what we got on the air, folks. And uh, appreciate you guys being here. There we are. I can hear it. I think I can see it. So we've got some new music going on. That is off of my uh, one of my CDs I have to be working on right now. And uh, trying to just cue everything up, make sure we got everything rolling and going. But uh, as usual, I uh, have a little bit of technical difficulties. And uh, I don't know what's going on with this thing. There's something going on around. So we're trying to... There we are. Trying to get this thing going. And, uh, well, you know, just kind of working with it, folks. So hang on. Just give me a minute here. Um, uh, I'm trying to cue it in. And, uh, got it going on. All right. So we've got a live cue going on. And uh, as I got the uh, the music going and uh, get that uh, get that set going on up here here, hang on here. All right. So that is off a new track that I got going on. Uh, I'm not sure what my screen is doing. There we go. All right. So we are live. We've got everything going on. And uh, I wanted to make sure that uh, things were rolling here. We've got uh, the mix. Hopefully this isn't too loud now. I've tried to adjust. Been working on this a little bit today. And uh, got, uh, got the uh, stuff loaded up. The music is loaded up to uh, iTunes.com, folks. You guys can find it over there. And uh, it looks like we're getting a little bit of feedback here. And uh, so uh, I'm trying to make some uh, adjustments as we usually do. You know how that goes, folks. So there we go. Uh, we're live. Hopefully this isn't too loud. No, All right. There we go. Everything's back to normal. Everything's back to cue. We are rolling here. It is Life Grace Ministries. Minister Preacher Rick Raleigh. I had to get the uh, other headphones head, headset going on just to make sure that I could uh, hear everything a little bit clearer as I've got the uh, the new uh, well these are old uh, actually the uh, JVC uh, Studio Pro headphones and uh, they are a little bulky but that's okay they'll work they do what they need to do and I uh, appreciate you guys being in here being uh, up here live with me tonight it is Monday night it is the Monday night gospel and we are just preaching and getting that word out to you. So uh, the perfect streaming, the broadcast is in progress. And uh, we are happy to uh, to be here. Gracious, uh, I am your gracious host. And uh, as I got everything queued up and ready to go, it looks like we're rolling. Everything's up and running, folks. Ah, uh, this is Life Grace Ministries, uh, Minister Preacher Rick Rowley here live. Hey, we're just sharing the Monday night message uh, about God, and uh, we got the live chat line going on. You know how we roll. We know you know how we start out. You get your big book of love, that that uh, that Bible, of course. You got to have that, ladies and gentlemen. That is your everything. So don't forget, you got to have your coffee. As uh, I always love to have my coffee. And, uh, you know, the Bible, the pens, pencils, stuff like that, the notebook, tablets, 
We are set in the rocker chair, in the uh, captain's chair here, as God is the captain, and uh, we are just uh, rolling with what God has to say tonight. So God is talking, he is saying, got something to say to you, yeah, as my good buddy, good friend, Michael Holcomb, down at uh, Bible Days Ministry, uh, live over at uh, iHeartRadio, any time of the day, uh, you guys can check it out uh, and you know where i'm at uh, life grace ministry 60 at gmail.com is the official email website for the podcast folks and uh you know and then what else oh we got you stream we've got live stream we got youtube of course we've got uh ulc ministers network you guys can find me over there and my cbn.com so I've got a ton of sites out there. You guys can get a hold of me anytime. Of course, right here at the live stream producer network, folks, on the air, on the international website. And don't forget, Blog Talk Radio. Yes, I have a radio show. And I will be on tomorrow morning at about 10 o'clock as uh, we get the morning started, the morning rolling with Blog Talk Radio, that is where I will be at at 10 o'clock in the morning. So if you guys could tune in and add and subscribe and like, that would be great. Also, uh, folks, you know, I wanted to uh, just kind of get a quick, uh, a few shout-outs to my friend in Chicago, uh, Neil Render TV in Chicago, the Windy City uh blowing up over there so oh my god it's we've got god's message just blowing up all over the airwaves all over the international radio and uh stations and stuff don't forget the radio station uh that gives you more that is kyfm 95.5 kwah fm 95.5 with uh j david ford he is in ennis texas internet radio uh, available on your iTunes, uh, your Apple, and uh, Amazon, I believe, as well as Twitter. So that is KYFM 95.5 FM in Texas, down in, or I guess over in Texas, Tejas. There you go. You know where you can find him. You know what's going on. And, of course, uh, I want to give a quick, uh, quick shout-out. To my new friend over at, um, oh, good grief, I was just looking at that. I'm blowing it up all over the internet and uh, putting it out on the radio. Uh, Jessica Rhodes yeah, at, uh, no, and I just did this. I should know better than that. It's the Roads to Success on YouTube channel. You guys could go check it out, add it, subscribe to her. We are doing a blow uh, a blowout on her book and go check it out. She's on the Roads to Success, Roads to Success. There you go. Giving a quick shout out to my new friend uh, Jessica Rhodes on the internet on YouTube. It is uh, it, it's some good advice for podcasters everywhere. If you guys want to check it out, go ahead and uh, look it up and uh, add it, subscribe to it, and do the tweets. Uh, there's quite a few else things going on. My good friend uh, Andrea over in New York on the East Coast as we are over on the left coast getting that message of God. Don't forget my, my also my good uh, my good pastor friend uh, Craig Day Ministries just got a brand new uploaded YouTube site. We are working on that. It is a work in, work in progress. Um, as the word of God gets spread out all over the, all parts, as we were called and told to preach to all nations, and that's exactly what we're doing. Uh, and as I'm checking around on the media, man, oh man, do I got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, I live in a, uh, a, a, a it's like a, a explosion of technicalities here, technical uh, stuff here. Now there is a bottom of the bottom of the screen here where my uh, my studio is at. Uh, there's some screen uh, things going on. There's a 2D mix and a 3D mix. Uh, I am not quite sure how to work that, so I uh, I will work on that later. But uh, I know there is some more magic that happens when we hit those buttons, and uh, I'm just not 
quite sure actually how to do that. But uh, listen, I'm just going to give you guys some uh, word of encouragement, some word of hope, and uh, give you some more uh, scriptures out of the King James Version because that's where I read from. That's pretty much what I do uh, as I was called to read from that, uh, that uh, book. Um, that version, actually, KJVOMG, as my friends always like to say. Well, you know, you know where we're at, folks. You know what's going on in the upper hill, in the upper room. And uh, like I said, I'm hoping that uh, I did some adjustments on this. I backed the gain completely out of the mix. And so I'm hoping that uh, it's uh, a little bit better. There it is. I'm checking my monitors here. Uh, there we go. Well, it's jumping all over the place. I never know. These things are sensitive. Uh, so, so don't forget, these will be loaded up over at YouTube, the profile over at YouTube. You guys can uh, always like and subscribe. I want to see those numbers climbing. Uh, if you guys are having to just be listening to that and getting that word out. So don't forget, we've got a live feed going on a live uh, chat line going on uh, here at uh, live stream and it's connected up with uh, Facebook and Twitter so totally appreciate you guys uh, spending a little bit of time on your Monday nights uh, hearing and getting this word and that is what I was called to do so don't forget that all right well we're listen we're gonna get right into a couple of key scriptures a couple of key words I was just a couple of minutes late, uh, about five minutes. Uh, I was trying to get some things done. Caught up, get my coffee rolling and uh, set up and ready to go. And uh, so we are here. We are live. It is Monday night. The perfect streaming is in effect. And it is, uh, well, what did I say before? The broadcast is in progress. Are you with me, family, friends? And uh, as I get a little bit of that echo, that's why I switched over to the the powerhouse. They, I recommend these if you guys uh, like the overhead uh, sp headphones. Uh, they are very clear. They are JVC Studio Pros. Uh, probably be jumping over to a pair of Skull Candies next week. And uh, but I like the the bass in them. They've got a good. Uh, sound and directive so that's what I'm, I'm trying to get a little bit better uh, sound situation going on without blasting so as I've got the uh, different uh, well as a different mixer and uh, so I'm kind of upgrading it's, it's still in progress folks so I right, listen I appreciate you guys checking it out hanging out with me and uh, like I said I hope the volume is now at a different level because uh, I've adjusted the uh, the microphone. So I've got a little bit, uh, as I'm maneuvering around as usual, live in the upper room in the upper hill, we are uh, getting God's word out. And I appreciate you guys spending uh, some time, some quality time. Get yourself in a, in a timeout. Sit and relax. Get your uh, easy chairs uh, tune in them lava lamps, get your Bibles and your pens, your pads, your notebook, tablets. Get all the necessary stuff you need because we are in, uh, hey, we're learning and getting that, uh, that God's word tonight. I'm going to just run right into some key scriptures, folks, because uh, we've got to uh, stand our guard yeah, against the devil's wiles and uh, not get, uh, you know, not get caught up in all that because you know there's a lot of things going on out there, folks. It just turn on the news for five minutes. You know, like I said before a million times, I am not blasting the news. But I'm just saying, if you're watching the first five to 15 minutes of the news, you catch everything. It, it, there's a lot going on, folks. So what I'm just trying to do is I'm just, uh, God put this on my heart 
to uh, to do these podcasts to get this message out. Uh, I was just talking to my friend about that earlier in the day. Uh, I'm not trying to sell anything uh, or push a product. I am trying to save souls, give you some encouragement uh, as uh, you know as uh, we get battled and badgered by the devil. We've got to badger him back. We've got to irritate the devil back by trusting God more, giving him more faith, or giving more, trusting in, in God. And we've got to have more faith. We've got to overpower our fear with God's faith. Amen. And so if I can make any kind of a little difference, if I can come into your, into your tablets, your laptops, your cell phones, and your watches already, Yes, they got uh, they've got the internet on a watch, so uh, you know if I can even do that to uh, even just get a little bit uh, a little bit of message out to you, then that is good for me. And uh, like I said, it is uh, it is growing, it is expanding. There is a lot of activity going on with Life Grace Ministries, your humble uh, minister and preacher, uh, Rick Rowley here live on the internet radio. Uh, don't forget Blog Talk Radio. Yes, I do have a radio station, folks. I will be on live in the morning about 10 o'clock. And uh, I'm going to be upgrading that in the near future. I was trying to do that a few months ago. It didn't happen. And I had a backer fall out. So uh, I am going to upgrade and uh, so stay tuned with that. It'll be a live uh, one-hour uh, radio show. Uh, I'm trying to get one or two days on a week, folks. And uh, we are going to, uh, it, it's going to be fun. There's going to be a lot of things coming on. I've got a live Skype going on. I've got a live uh, Internet phone call in where you folks can uh, go ahead and call in. And, uh, you know, I'll do a prayer for you. And uh, I'm gonna have a. I've got a team now. If I don't know the answers, if I can't find something, I have uh, a, a team that we will pray and do uh, prayers for it. Don't forget uh, CBN as well. I'm on my CBN. I've got a uh, thing over there, so you guys can get a hold of me there. And uh, where else? Well, you know that's uh, and SoundCloud, of course. Um, there's some few other things, folks. I, I it's just blasting out. I appreciate that. I appreciate you guys doing all the follows, uh, all the uh, twitters, is greatly, greatly appreciated, and uh, it's uh, it's really, really good to see that there is. As I, I'm going to do a share real quick. Uh, I'm going to add Twitter. So you guys that are following me. On uh, on Twitter, you guys can go ahead and join me in over there at that station. So, all right, so that's okay. It is there, and I'm trying to get back over here on my monitor to uh, live stream. Now there is a connection on this, and I haven't done it yet. I was gonna do it, but I. I, uh, I'm not sure uh, about doing the live stream connection with Facebook. Uh, that is in the works, and we are going to roll with it. Um, so I'm not sure what I did here, but I think I doubled my message. I don't know what I actually did, but uh, I think... Um, I am not, like I said, I'm not sure what I did actually. So that's uh, interesting. And for some reason, it uh, it did not want to. Um, it did not want to. Uh, I have to actually fix this, and I don't know what. I do not know what I did. Uh, I'm on another podcast message and I kind of doubled up on what I was going to do which um, doesn't make any any real sense which never does and uh, so 
I am not, like I said, I'm not sure. And um, so, um, wow. Well, it's interesting, folks, anyway. Uh, I am trying to re uh, redo this here. And uh, just bear with me. And uh, so, let's see if we can do something here. And oh uh, my gosh, hang on, folks, here. Well, I am still trying to multitask. Um, for some reason, um, some reason it, uh, backlogged on this, uh, and I ended up actually double, uh, booking a show here. I was supposed to do this, uh, somehow, and, uh, I'm not quite sure. Uh, why it did that. And so what happened was I set this show tonight for one of them and it did not, uh, it did not add to it. It jumped to another, it actually jumped to a, another, uh, another deal here. So I'm not quite up sure really. Uh, what is going on with that, but, uh, uh, my gosh, well, I don't know, folks, I'm just going to have to let this one go, reset it, do it tomorrow, because, uh, it just blasted out, did not want to do it, and, uh, for some reason, it, uh, it did not. It went to another site, jumped to another message, and uh, threw me completely off. So, um, like I said, I never know with this thing as uh, it's all mixed up and uh, kind of thrown together. But we're going to get the message out, folks, uh, because uh, that is why I am here. So, we got our Bibles, we've got our coffee. We've got everything that we need, and um, for some reason, when I went to edit this, I skipped over what I was trying to do. I jumped to a show that I'd already been on, and uh, just went live, and so it uh, it's interesting how all this stuff goes. Anyway, listen, we're going to get right into it. We're going to give you the armor of God as we got to arm ourselves with that uh, word and message, folks. So let me see. Let me check on the social media. Let me get these glasses here, folks, and uh, get this uh, message but we're here live it is a life grace ministries minister preacher rick Riley. hopefully the volume is a little bit better uh, don't forget on skype folks ladies and gentlemen you guys can get a hold of me there as we check out what's happening the status on facebook i know i'm not supposed to be on there but uh, well not not supposed to be but i uh, i like to check every once in a while I'll make sure uh, you guys are still with me here, and so we're just getting the word of God out. We're just getting the message out. It is up, and well, let's see. It keeps wanting to go. All right. So for some reason, well, let's get Ephesians six ten and twenty three, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just do that right now. The whole armor of God, my friends. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and against the powers and against the rulers of this darkness of this world and against spiritual wickedness in high places. 
Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to uh, withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, stand therefore, uh, having your loins girt about with a with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Uh, And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open up my mouth boldly, or open my mouth boldly, to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Amen. So there you go. Uh, just uh, a little uh, set of uh, extra weapons for the devil to to take in, because you know he's hey, he's trying to get us out there. He's trying to get us messed up. We just can't do it. Can't let him. Um. So and I've got like I said, I always go over these. I want to make sure uh, you guys get them. Uh, as I'm chasing spider webs that are falling from the ceiling here. I'm not kidding. And uh, that's what uh, kind of makes it a little irritating to uh, to try to podcast with the uh, spider was coming down. But they, uh, you know, as long as it's not the spiders, I'm okay. It's just the webs that are crashing down on me, uh, trying to annoy me. And uh, so, all right, well, we need some coffee, I think. So... Like I said, folks, I am just giving you a little bit of message here. Uh, I want to make sure that you guys uh, are armed as we face this face battle. Faith battle, not face battle. That would be uh, when you look in the mirror. But uh, we are here talking about God. We're here talking about the faith battle that we battle every day against the wiles of the devil. But we have the antidote, my friends. We do. Uh, and uh, so, listen, I'm just going to give you a little, few more uh, scriptures here, some words from my good friend Carrie over at Facebook. Uh, she uh, posted these, and I, uh, I'll use them a little bit here. Surrender yourselves. Well, this is this it goes down into this, but I wanted to give you guys this one here. Surrender yourselves completely to the Lord, my friends. Apply God's promises to your everyday life and trust Him no matter what comes your way. And I've got something for your anxiety and your fears that you are having, folks, because I know. uh, I know we battle that fear and anxiety every single day. And uh, even, even, uh, even the chosen, even God's children... We face uh, that anxiety and that uh, fear. So I am going to give you that message, my friends. Uh, Receive what God has already provided. Be encouraged to keep your faith in God. No matter what obstacles you face, he He will turn your situations around, no doubt. And, uh, all right, so... Uh, appreciate you guys jumping in there and uh, watching me here at live stream and uh, appreciate that uh, James 4 7 well let's see I got that one I did James 4 7 submit yourselves therefore to God resist the devil and he will flee from you why you ask because he is afraid of the one the greater one that is in us amen John 10, 27, 30, uh, and my sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hands. Amen. Isaiah forty eleven. how our Lord cares for his sheep, how often he lifts us when we are low and supports us when we are weak. He gathers the lambs in him, and he carries them close to his heart. He gently leads those 
that are with young. All right. So uh, I'm going to get this out here real quick as I try to multitask. Uh, you know, I got to try to do something here. Uh, and uh, all right. So hang on, folks. All right, well, you know, like I said, we're just getting this message out. I've got to keep up on the, uh, to keep the message going. We are live, worldwide, global. We are all over the net, folks. Uh, as I say on my hashtags on the, uh, the uh, Twitter, uh, Life Grace Ministries, live podcast going global. That is the official new hashtag for my Twitter site. And I uh, appreciate that, you guys hanging out, getting this message out with me, sharing the word. Amen. All right. So we got those. We got John 2730. We got Isaiah. We've got Psalm 91, Most High Elyon. Under the shadow of the Almighty God, my refuge, my protection, he shall deliver thee. Do not be afraid. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Many may fall, but not you. He will come and his angels concerning you to guard you. You are protected from the dragon serpent. God acknowledges my name and lifts me up. He will rescue and protect me. Stand fast, stand firm in that word. All right, so we're going to give you a couple of versions of the sinner's prayer. Uh, Romans 10, 9, uh, 9 and 10, and then through uh, 21. That it thou, or that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus Christ, and shalt believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Amen. For the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed, for there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For so whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not Believed. I got to do a little editing here. Shall let's see. And how shall they believe in him, um, of whom they have not heard? Well, there you go. I'm giving you. I'm giving you some words to uh, to get here, and I uh, appreciate that. So I just multitasking as usually. All right. So. How shall they hear without a preacher? How shall they preach except they uh, be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring uh, glad tidings of good uh, things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel for Isaiah or Isaiah, saith Lord, who hath believed our report. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily. Their sound went into all the earth, and their words unto the ends of the world. But I say, did not Israel know first uh, Moses? saith, I will provoke you to jealousy, that are no people, and by the foolish nation I will anger. But Isaiah, or Isaiah is very bold, and he saith, I was found of them that sought me, not I was made manifest unto them that asked not after me, but to Israel, he saith, all day long, I have stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient and gainsaying people. Mercy. All right. So as I continue to work and write, on my uh, my podcast notes, which is always never ending, uh, I am far from far from being complete, but I am getting closer. 
So there you go. And uh, all right. So upcoming next is I'm going to do the other part of the. Uh, I'm going to do the other part here as I get into this. And uh, somewhere in this mess here, I don't know. And uh, there we go. Um, well, you know, as I try to multitask this stuff in here, um, I am trying to get this message out, folks. So I hope you guys are here uh, and joining me live. And I uh, appreciate all the, uh, the uh, comments, the ads. And um, all that good fun stuff, folks, because we are live. Now, we are going over to YouTube eventually this weekend. I believe if I can get a chance. And uh, so we are trying to just get this message out. I hope you guys are here. And, uh, you know, like I said, I'm going to be on blog talk radio this morning. And um, it is going to be, uh, go ahead and join me live for Blog Talk Radio in the morning at about uh, 10, uh, 9, 10 o'clock, something like that. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to jump on over here at uh, live stream in the morning just for a brief hour or so. All right, well, I'm going to get this, uh, the Sinner's Prayer from uh, Craig Day Ministries right here live. Uh, Dear Jesus, I know that I am a sinner. I thank you for dying on the cross for me, and I confess with my mouth. I believe you are the Lord and that God raised you from the dead. Please forgive me of my sins and wash my heart clean and come and live in my heart. Be the Lord of my life. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Teach me to walk with you and live for you the rest of my life. Amen. Thank you for saving me and for giving me the gift of eternal life in heaven with you. Amen. And I confess that I am a sinner and I have prayed for, uh, prayed, forgiving all those who have sinned against me. I ask for strength from me in the Lord to help me to follow a path and lead others by the will of God. Amen. Because you know, my friends, that all our sins, past, present, and future, have been wiped away uh, when Jesus died on the cross. So, there you go. Now you know. Grace is what God does. Faith is what we do. All right, so I got them power scriptures. I got them words out to you. When we build our lives on the truth of God's word, we are building on an eternal foundation that cannot be destroyed. And we know this one, folks. Now, we got to keep these scriptures to our hearts, folks. We got to keep these uh, close uh, because as we are in a faith battle, I will give you a uh, uh, few other scriptures here, folks. Uh, faith, the truth, and standards of the revealed words of God. Psalms 139.23, you know that one, folks. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. Romans 8.17, the Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, then heirs of God, and then joint heirs with Christ. If we indeed suffer with him, that we may. Now, I know I ended up botching that up because I uh, I think what I did was I wrote it and then I forgot where I actually, I didn't finish it out. So, that is, uh, it's uh, not good, so. Uh, all right, so here what we're going to do, and uh, I'm going to look this up real real quick here, and um, I just want to make sure that I get this message out 
that you guys understand it and as well as me getting it because I want to make sure I understand it. So, for some reason, I just started it and then I never finished it. So, in 17, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If so, be that we may suffer with him, that we may be also glorified by him. And somehow my phone just went out. Interesting. Devil's sneaky, but he's not sneaky enough. So that we may be also glorified together. Now somehow, some way. Uh, I, uh, I did not, it didn't finish out, so I must have, uh, uh, why does that want to do that? Anyway, you know, technicalities, folks. Um, so that's what happens, um. Somehow, my phone wants to jump back and forth, which is really funny. It's, uh, once I get this thing set up, it, uh, all right. So, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. If so, be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified uh, together. And, um, so that's what happens that uh, we may uh, be uh, well you know as I try to fix this folks uh, that's what happens um, I have been going over these notes forever trying to get caught up on them and uh, for some reason I uh, continually miss notes and stuff like that. So, uh, I'm going to let that dry out. But there you go. That's what it is. As we are joint heirs of God uh, with Christ. If we indeed suffer with Him, um, that we may... Uh, we may be also glorified together. So, there you go. As uh, I continue to try to correct what I have written out, um, because uh, I want to make sure, that, like I said, folks, I want to make sure I get all this together and straightened out so all right well there you go that's live on the air folks that's what happens i try to do things as uh, as i see them and as i they are uh you know i try to catch them uh with uh, as soon as i get a chance to so somehow i ended up uh completely missing the end of that, uh, which is not surprising. So I'm going to give you Acts 2, 14, 42, my friends. KJV, out of the King James Version. Pretty cool. Uh, but this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass in the last day, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. And our sons and daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions. Your old men shall dream dreams. Uh, and on my servants and on my hand maidens, I will pour out in those days of my spirit. And they shall prophesy. And I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon in blood before that great notable day of the Lord Come, and it shall come to pass that so uh, that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. 
Uh, did you catch that, folks? It's it's in there. There we go. If you those that shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, for the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Possess the promise. God's word says it is his will to heal us. And through Jesus' death on the Calvary, and resurrection, the price for sin has been paid and sickness has been borne away. As you walk with God, take time every day to thank him for the gift of healing that he's already provided and given us through Jesus Christ. And know that like any other gift, it is ours freely. That's what we're talking about. Folks, we're talking about grace, that, uh, that free grace and um, that is what we are talking about. That's what we're doing here. And uh, so that is the case. Uh, there you go. So I'm just giving you some more messages here, folks. All we have to do is accept it. And by faith possess the healing. God has already promised us in Isaiah 53, 4 through 5. Family, friends. Know what belongs to you. God doesn't want us to wonder whether it is his will that will be healed. He wants us to know what his word says about it in Christ. We're already healed by his stripes and we let his word build up our faith for healing whenever we need it. Well, we can't forget this one. As, uh, you know, I think we started a little after 8 o'clock. So I'm just going to go probably a little after 8 or 9 here. Uh, just because this word, my friends, is so important. It is uh, so key to our, uh, our life that we need to hear this message. And it's not just me. There's a lot of other people out there that are doing this. Prophets, preachers, ministers, teachers... There's so many out there that are giving this word, folks. You guys, you know, this is what we're called to do. We are called to give this message out. To the least, the last, and the lost of this world, that's what we are called to do, folks. First John five thirteen fifteen. These things I have written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of the God or of God. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. Now, I believe this is out of the King James Version. Again, this is a you know, really, really, really important. And uh, so I hope you guys are listening and appreciate those that are. And, uh, you know, I just continue to get this message out. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hears us whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. God's word will not fail us if we'll not refuse uh, as I look at my notes, to give up. Keep on standing on the rock of God's word. And it won't let you down. God's word will not fail us, friends. It will not if you trust in God no matter what it looks like. You go by your five senses. You cannot do that. You got to stand on what God's word has to say. It is important for us to realize that after we have prayed, now this is the key. If you guys want to write this down, go to the notes, 1 John 5, 13, 15. It is important for us to realize that after we have prayed, an apparent delay in the, in the answer or not hearing God's word or voice right away doesn't mean that help is isn't on the way if you trust and lean on him no matter what it looks like he is there 
Isaiah fifty four seventeen, no weapons formed against you uh, shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord, and the righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Amen. Now, as we look in book four of Psalms 91, four, again, going back into Psalms, uh, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the, the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, you are my refuge and my fortress, my God in him, I will rest. Now, don't forget, uh, coming back here and this week or next, sometime in the next two weeks here, Join me over at Rabble TV. They are upgrading and updating all the sites, uh, making a lot of changes. So stay tuned. Life Grace Ministries will be over there. Uh, and in the upcoming week or two here, I will post it on Facebook and Twitter as well as a post over on my YouTube channel. You guys can check it out. Now, I was considering kind of going over to YouTube Red uh, as I've looked at that. and It is a pay subscription profile site, but I guess there's a lot more going on over there. So, for now, we are at the usual five blog talk radio, live stream network, uh, Ustream TV, Rabble TV, and uh, I think YouTube, YouTube, Blog Talk, Livestream, Ustream. Uh, I know I'm missing something else. I don't know. Uh, somewhere in there. Anyway, you know where you can find me. Giving you the message of God every day as we continue uh, to uplift and build up your spirits. Uh, don't forget my good friends. I want to make sure the three, the power of three and four... Actually, five. There's pro there's a whole network uh, of people out there that are getting uh, some good advice, on, especially on podcasting. Jessica Rhodes, Rhodes to Success at YouTube.com. You can find her channel anywhere. Uh, she is uh, great advice for podcasters just getting started, radio, all that stuff. Uh, rocking the podcast from both sides of the mic, my friend. Uh, in uh, in uh, Chicago, Neil Render TV is going up. Uh, it is uh, amazing, and it will. Uh, it's definitely uh, getting us. You know, getting all these messages out. Uh, and my good friend Andrea in New York. Um, and don't forget my good friend Craig Day Ministries. Um, and what else was I going to do? I said it's going to say something else. I forgot what I was going to do. See, that's what happens when you're on live and you get to multitask. Uh, I don't have a big crew, folks. Uh, it's just me and the camera and, uh, of course, my audio section over here, folks. So uh, you, you guys, I appreciate the Twitter, Facebook, social media stuff. I try to keep up with all that stuff. It, uh, you know, hey, don't forget blog talk radio in the morning. Yes, I do have a radio show. I will be on in the morning. I might have to adjust my timing. Uh, see how early I can get up. So make sure the alarms are set and ready to go. Uh, but you guys are so amazing. I appreciate you. Book four, Psalms 91, four, he who dwells in the secret place. I'm going to repeat this because that's how you hear that word. Uh, of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, you are my refuge and my fortress, my God in him I will rest. Amen. Oh, yeah, and the other plug I was going to do, the other um, uh, quick shout-out was uh, my good brother down in Ennis, Texas, KWAH FM 95.5 FM, KYFM. That is the Lord's Radio, the Christian Radio of KWA Radio FM 95.5. Uh, J. David Ford. You guys got to go check him out. Go add the site. Uh, he's amazing. Amazon, iTunes, and Twitter. Uh, there's some real powerful preaching 
on that station, folks. I'm telling you, I listen to it all every chance, and uh, it's it's uh, it's mind blowing. Uh, the preacher is on fire down there. So we got to get that mud, that Java Cola. We got to fire up that coffee. Uh, keep God's word. I've still got a few more messages I want to get out to you guys. So sit tight. It is Monday night. We're live on the air with the uh, podcast, uh, Life Race Ministries. Minister Preacher Rick Rally here. The broadcast is in progress. We are waiting, uh, anticipating the uh, the Rabble TV will be up and running here in the next few weeks. Uh, so stay tuned on my Facebook, my YouTube, uh, blogspot.com. I've got a blog now. Uh, I need to upgrade that. I need to get back on there. And don't forget wix.com. Folks, several, several, several different uh, spots you guys can get me at. You guys can reach me anytime. Life Grace Ministry 60 at gmail.com is the official email uh, connection for this ministry. You guys can get a hold of me there anytime. And don't forget my good friend, Craig Day Ministries, who now has a, uh, he's on all of the same sites I'm on. And uh, you guys can join him live as we are preparing the studio, as we are preparing the gear uh, uploading uh, all the uh, all the bells and whistles of those profiles. You guys can get a hold of them there. Craig Day Ministries, it's going to be up and running. We're going to be doing some plugs here pretty soon. So don't forget, folks, you guys can find him over there. He's on YouTube. He's on the friendship list. And also uh, Neil Render TV out in the windy city of Chicago, folks. Check it out. Add it. Go to it. Go find him. And uh, check out his uh, videos. Um, hey, it's we got to get this word out, folks. And the more we've got in the circle, folks, uh, it's going to be uh, amazing because God is simply amazing. And we've got to draw stronger towards him. And uh, I see the uh, the live chat is livening up here, folks. Hey, it is... Monday night, and we're almost at the very end of the month, going into February. That would be Valentine's coming up. Well, you know how that goes. Uh, No reason to be scared. No reason to be worried, stressed. I'm going to get to that in a minute here. Uh, Jesus is ever interceding on our behalf. That alone should embolden faith in you, or him, in him. We can have uh, immovable and unshakable confidence that he will be our anchor and our steadfast hope in the rolling tides and crashing waves. He will see us safely through the storm and guide us to our safety, my friends. If you lean and you trust on him and his word, he will get you through. So don't worry about things, folks. Uh, now, in a vision I had, I've read this before, I've shared this before, I've gone through this before. As we are sinners by birth, made righteous by faith, saved by the blood, shown acts of mercy, having peace through him, that would be Jesus, because of his grace and mercy, amen, we are saved. So, I got this one. I got, you know, folks, as I continue to research and do more studies, I am excited about going back uh, to Rabble as I am going to be doing the entire book of Daniel. I am going to uh, go back into that. That's going to be my first brand new podcast for Rabble TV. Go check it out. Go at it. Go listen to it. Uh, as usual, they are all already done over to YouTube, but I, my first new show for 2017 at Rebel TV in February, went coming up here real soon. Uh, it's going to be on the book of Daniel in the King James version, folks. And so listen, just check it out. See what you think. I, I love doing the whole entire book. Uh, now, briefly, basically what I've been doing on live stream, I've just been reading scriptures, notes, information out. 
But what I'm and I'm still going to do that. That's not going to change. I'm going to be doing uh, about three or four shows a day, uh, as it is a full time calling to get this message out. You guys, we need to get this word. We need to get this message out. I need to get this message out, uh, as I am just your humble vessel in the Word of God. Amen. Happy to do it. Honored to do it. Uh, it is not a job. It is a privilege. And so I just love talking. I love getting this message out. So here you go, John three fifteen eighteen, 18, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that so or whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, my friends, but the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the whole only begotten Son of God. Take that in, drink that in, uh, as we uh, as we we uh, meditate on that verse and that scripture. It is amazing. Uh, Ephesians 2, 8, 9, for by grace are ye saved. Through faith and not of yourselves, it is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Ephesians 4, now i got to get my phone going on here. Ephesians 4, 1, 16, you know what that is? You know what that says? All right, so what do we got? All right, well, listen, I'm going to give you a couple of prayers that uh, hopefully here, um, uh, the anxiety prayer. Now, I'm going to have to actually restart my phone for some reason. It uh, it wants to uh, kick off, and uh, so I'm going to restart that. And uh, get that message. So if you guys can hear me, uh, would somebody let me know? Because I never know what the volume is going to be like. So I'm still always working with it. And I'm still trying to figure everything out here. So I never know. But listen, I'm going to get some upgrades here in the next few weeks. Uh, I'm getting another uh, microphone. And uh, use this as an interview microphone as I will up be upgrading, updating, interviewing guests live here at the ministries. We're going to be uh, excelling. Now it is time for demonstrations, folks. And we are going to be blasting this word, as I like to say. The favorite word of the day is blasting God's message. And that's what we're going to do. So, um, all right, so I've got to get this message out here. Um, and, um, well, you know, um, I am uh, trying to just get this message out here. So, all right, so hang on, folks. Um, all right, so I'm just trying to, like I said, I'm multitasking here. Uh, um, all right, so I'm trying to multitask. Uh, I'm getting this message out. All right, so I'm going to give you this anxiety because so much of us, so many of us uh, are dealing with all this anxiety, folks, and all this fear because uh, the devil is uh, has come in there to kill, steal, and destroy. He has come in there to attack us. And so we overpower our fear with faith. And we overpower, because he is trying to overpower our faith with his fear. So I'm going to give you a couple of notes, a couple of messages, real quick, just to throw some stuff out there for you. The anxiety prayer. 
Father, how grateful I am that you will not allow me to remain in bondage. Thank you for bringing my anxieties to light so that I can be free of them. I praise you for your kindness uh, to me and for the patience with which you heal my wounds. Lord, this anxiety deeply consumes me and dominates my thoughts. So I bring it to you, and I cannot break free of this apprehension on my own. I commit this to your loving care and faithful stewardship, knowing you have never let me down and you never will. Thank you for understanding my situation and for caring enough to help me. I am grateful for your unconditional love, your promise to provide for me, and the wisdom of strength necessary to break free of this bondage. Father, I acknowledge I am facing a faith battle. Therefore, I declare once and for all that I believe you can deliver me from this anxiety and that you are bigger, stronger, and more powerful than any problem I will ever face. Lord, I give this situation to you. And trust that you will always do what is absolutely best for me. Thank you for giving me the peace that passes all understanding. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Well, there you go. That's, that uh, is some good, uh, good information, some good backup, folks. As Like I said, I'm just arming you guys uh, with the strength to get through every single day, the devil kinds of comes that comes comes at you. There you go. Spit that out, and uh, try to get that word out to you every day to give you some encouragement, some power uh, to empower you, my friends. And you can do it. You can get through it. You will persevere. So this is the one on fear, folks. Because like I said, I know there's a lot of you guys out there that are going through this. A lot of anxiety. A lot of panic going out there. But we got to calm down, take our breath, read and read the word, pray in the word, meditate on the word, and uh, you will get through it, folks. I'm telling you, you will get through it because uh, God's word will not fail us. Father, how grateful I am for your awesome love for me. You know my fears and offer me your peace. Thank you for helping me overcome my apprehensions. Please reveal the origin of my fears so that they can be removed completely. We want them removed from our lives, folks. We do. And so as we get uh, get this message, please reveal the origin of my fears so that they can be removed completely. I recognize that I am facing a faith battle today. Therefore, Lord, please continue to give me strength and encourage me with your word. Show me who you are so I can stand strong against these fears and declare in faith my God is wiser, more loving, and more powerful than any problem I will ever face. Day by day, help me to place my focus on your faithful character and unfailing principles so that I can be a person of courage and conviction. Thank you, Father, for helping me lay down my fears on the basis of who you are. And... What you have promised. I do not have to be afraid because you are always with me. You are my God and you will strengthen and uphold me with your righteous right hand. Truly you are worthy of all the honor, glory, power and praise, my friends. My soul rests in you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, some power words. That's what it is. That's what I'm giving you, folks. I got uh, just a couple of quick ones I want to get out. And uh, as we're doing good on time, uh, we got to get this message out, folks. I appreciate you guys hanging in, hanging out with me tonight on a Monday night. Be anxious for nothing. This is the key to peace. Be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests... Now, let your requests... I'm going to get this suggested up here, folks. Let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God which surpasses all comprehensions. He will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. In Philippians 4, 6, and 7, stick into the Word of God tonight, folks, and every night. Remember... 
In the midst of life's storm, God's peace is like a fortress. Nothing comes your way without your Father's permission. The Lord's desire is to give you peace in every circumstance. If our confidence is found in Christ, He will not be swayed. By our circumstances, true con- contentment is based on a person and not on what's going on around us. So as things come at you, folks, oh my God, as things come at us, we got to stand our ground, stand tall, stand in the Word of God. Amen. i got another one for you. Uh, as uh, a couple more, actually, I'm going to give you these two. You know, I'm like a top 40 radio station giving you the hits that never quit all the time on the radio. Life Grace Ministries podcast uh, live on the internet radio worldwide going global, my friends. We are breaking that glass ceiling and I am giving you the message of God. Amen. Every chance I get all across the world, all across the globe, in every country, in every city, in every town that can hear my voice. Uh, If you've got internet, if you guys have Wi-Fi, you can find Life Grace Ministries, Minister Preacher Rick Rella here on the net, on the air, live stream, Ustream TV, coming soon to Rabble TV, Blog Talk Radio, and YouTube. Now, YouTube is the main channel. I uh, pretty much everything's going towards that. Uh, I will be doing some live streaming here on YouTube, uh, probably on weekends, probably about three days a week, as my my work week and my days and nights are filled to the brim with a lot going on. So uh, I'm trying to balance this out. Uh, I have not asked for donations, folks, but I w- it was laid on my heart to do a uh, GoFundMe uh, foundation thing to uh, keep and upgrade the uh, the sites, the profiles that I have. Uh, and like I said, I have hum- just humbled to get this message out. I have not asked for donations. I have not asked for help. Uh, but uh, as the ministries are growing... Uh, I have branched out uh, quite a bit, uh, now producing and doing uh, music for the podcast intros, and uh, I will be, like I said, I will be putting that on, that is on my YouTube channel, you guys can check it out there, Uh, and SoundCloud as well, it is all linked in together, all that stuff's connected, so uh, I don't know, so you guys give me your opinions, what do you think about that? Should I uh, should I request or ask uh, to start a GoFundMe app? Um, I have just been uh, humbled and thankful and grateful uh, to get this message out. I've never asked for anything. So let me know what you think. Put that down in my comment. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Because uh, like I said, I'm just humbled to get this message out. Uh, but the upper grade profiles you know they do charge for them um i have just been operating on the uh, the free sites the uh, connection sites and everything so uh but i would like to expand and i'd like to get uh a little bit uh, more time and a little bit more higher upgrade uh on what i'm doing so if you guys think about that let me know Uh, i just hey i'm just your humble vessel servant not a servant because I know what my father's business is, but I am just uh, getting this message out, uh, just operating on uh, you know what I have done, what God has given me, and uh, close friends that have uh, stepped up and helped. So let me know what you think, folks. I am uh, praying on this and searching for this, and I know He's going to do it. I know He's going to. He, God is uh, so good, and He has provided. Everything of what I need. So let me know. All right. So I'm going to give you this last couple of prayers here, folks, and uh, wrap it up. And I will see you back here in the morning. And tomorrow night we're doing a double show 
Triple show, actually, because I will be at Blog Talk Radio in the morning. All right. Uh, good morning. Well, good evening, I guess, now. At different seasons, there are different anointings that I give to my children. And in this season, says the Spirit, there will be some, or will be upon some of my people, the anointing to run with horses and outrun men. There will be open some of the people that Elisha anointing. That anointing that outruns everyone else. That anointing is upon those who have sought my face diligently. Who have pursued me irregardless of everything that is going on in their lives. They have carved out a place and put me first in their hearts. And it has grown bigger and bigger. Instead of decreasing, they are increasing their love for me. Because of that, says the Lord, I am increasing my anointing upon you. You will be able to do things that you thought was impossible for you to walk in, for you see, for you to see, for you to do. I have anointed fresh your hands, your feet, your eyes, your ears, your body, yes, that body that was given out unto you. I have anointed it fresh, says the Lord. You have the ability to soar as an eagle does. When it sets itself upon a high place and beats of the old to carve out that new fresh eagle, I so I, I am saying to you, uh, where did we go here? I saw a misprint and I wanted to correct that, so I am not repeating the misprint. Somehow, I got to go back in here and look at this again because I did see a pretty bad double repeat. So, somehow, hang on, folks. Let me go back in and find There it is. Um, so, I am saying to you, a new fresh eagle has appeared in your body, in your being, in your mind, in your heart, says the Lord. You shall run fast. And soar beyond your expectation because a supernatural anointing rests upon you even now. For those who will receive it, they will go forth in a fresh new anointing and not be stopped by the lies of the enemy. This is my anointing. It is for those in the end time... So they not only endure, but they excel. Great or Get ready, says the Lord, for the eagle's anointing to rest upon you. So that is good news, folks. That, there you go, right there is good news. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and it faints. Isaiah forty thirty one. But the people who know their God shall be strong and carry out exploits. In Daniel eleven thirty two, we're gonna get to that here in February pretty soon. Here, folks, we're gonna get into the end of the book of Daniel. Check it out. Stay tuned. It's gonna be great. I can I'm excited about that. But my horn, you have exalted. Like a wild ox, I have been anointed with fresh oil in Psalms 92 and 10. So, my friends, we are wrapping this up. Uh, we are going to get this taken care of here. Uh, as we read uh, the final prayer, you guys can go ahead and say this with me if you'd like. Repeat this prayer. Father, I thank you for the finished work of Jesus, and I thank you for loving me so much that you've already eternally cleansed me and forgiving me of all my sins through Christ. I thank you, Lord, that I am already blessed with every spiritual blessing through Christ. Thank you, Lord, because everything I need pertaining to life has already been provided and completed. Father, I thank you, and I enter into the rest. I thank you because my deliverance is finished. I thank you because my financial prosperity is finished. Thank you, Lord, because I was already healed by Jesus' wounds and no disease can live in my body. But you got to receive it, folks. That's the thing. you got to receive it. Believe it and receive it. 
Thank you because I am free from the struggle and the bondage of legalism. Uh, thank you because I don't have to depend on myself. And you're sitting there going, what, minister? I don't have to depend on myself, really? No, you don't, my friends. You don't have to depend on yourself because it's already written and done. I receive your great love for me and your eternal forgiveness. I acknowledge that I already have it. And I release your blessing from within my spirit over every area of my life right now. Not later, but now. Uh, And there you have it. There you go. That's what's happening. Uh, What do we got? I've got a, I guess, one or two more. So, I'm going to give you this one. This one just kind of came up. Uh, It's the battlefield outline. Dealing with the devil and overcoming his hindrances to the manifestation of God has already provided is popularly called the spiritual warfare. God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power who went about doing good. Yes, uh, I get this message here. And healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. In Acts 10.38. Overall, it has been good for uh, Christians to recognize the fact that Satan exists, that his demonic powers are active today. However, in the process, much of the body of Christ has swung from ignorance to a very weird extreme. The only reason he is able to do anything. Now pay attention. I know you got to hear this folks. You got to check this out. The only reason is he able to do anything. Is because of our own ignorance. Unbelief and fear. Now I just gave you the fear prayer. And hopefully that helps. Although the body of Christ today has come to an awareness of the devil's existence, it has remained, for the most part, functionally ignorant of Satan's true devices. 2 Corinthians 2.11 uh, The battle is between your ears, my friends. I know, I listen to that too. It's that stinking thinking we all get caught up into. Uh, we get messed up, we get tripped up, we get caught up in that stuff, and that's we can't go, do that, folks. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of the might, his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against the powers and against the rulers of this darkness of this world and against spiritual wickedness in high places. And that is, and folks, we have gone there every day. Uh, Right there's the key. Ephesians 6, 10, and 12, yes, that is the armor of God. We are in a battle, but it's not out there in heavenly places. We are fighting demonic powers, and they do exist in heavenly places. But the battlefield, place of engagement, is in our minds. Our soul and flesh are the same. All Satan can do is trying to deceive you through the wiles, cunningness, craftiness, and lies. And then use the very power you surrender to him against you. The devil's goals, er, goal is to keep you ignorant of the truth and believing his lies. Now James 4, 7 reads, God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. Therefore submit to God, resist the devil and he will flee from you in fear. And I said that before. Because he is afraid of the greater one that is in you. I fear, uh, fast by or less by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtly, uh, so your minds should be corrupted and the simplicity that is in Christ. Amen. All right, so you know how I do it. You know, I got to get that message out here. And now I'm going to just be wrapping stuff up here. Second Corinthians 11.3 is where that came from. Satan comes against you or against us and you by trying to corrupt our minds from the simplicity that is 
that's in Jesus is in Jesus Christ here. Satan chose or chose the serpent, the craftiest animal on the face of the earth, to come against Eve because he knew he had absolutely no power to force or intimidate Adam or Eve into anything. Because the snake was subtle. He had to deceive them instead. In Genesis 3, 1, check it out, folks. Uh, right there at the beginning, it is there. If Satan had challenged the word and gotten them to question and second guess it, his temptation would have gone nowhere. Satan tempted Adam and Eve with something they already had. Satan loves to hinder people from coming to the Lord. But his only power is deception and lies. Now that is the key too. So if you watch that, watch that one. If Satan were really as powerful as he claimed to be, then he would have kept you from receiving salvation. Satan can't stop you from doing anything. Satan can't do or can't can't do anything to you without your consent and cooperation. So are you cooperating with the devil? Or are you cooperating with God? Amen. And that is the question you gotta ask yourself. Are you uh, cooperating with the devil? And uh, I do hope this helps. I do hope this uh, gives you some encouragement, uh, some faith to trust in God no matter what. Satan can't do anything without your consent and cooperation. The devil will condemn you over what you don't have and try to keep you focused on just the physical realm. But the truth is, in the spirit, you already have everything. The key to seeing manifest in your life or manifest in your life. What you have in the Spirit is believing and acknowledging it. Um, and that, my friends, is what you need to do. The key to seeing manifest in your life, what you have in the Spirit is believing and acknowledging it. That the communication of thy, uh, thy faith may become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. And Philemon, jumping way over to Phil in one six, The way you get your faith to work is by starting to acknowledge the good things in you in Christ. For I know that in me that is in my flesh dwelleth no good thing. Romans 7.18, that's what it says. To live in victory, you need to be focused on who you are in Christ. Satan specifically targets your understanding and acknowledging of who you are that what you have in Christ. Adam and Eve threw it all away because of a talking snake convinced them that they didn't have enough. And also peril, just some side notes, folks. When Jesus was in the desert wandering for 40 days and the devil tempted him. See, it's kind of a parallel thing. If you have been born again, you do have everything, my friends. You are complete in Christ. A new creature. And uh, Colossians 2.10, I believe that's where that can be found. Uh, if you guys want to look those up, I told you I'm going to be giving you uh, some major, major scriptures here. we got to arm ourselves. The battle against the devil is waged in your thoughts. That's why God's word is so uh, essential. And it is. And that's why we got to arm ourselves. Uh, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Amen. Or set you free if you'd like. John 8.32, right? That is John 8.32. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God on the, to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth, exalteth itself against the knowledge of God and bringing 
into captivity. Uh, what do we got here? About an hour and a half. My God. And you're getting a word out. That's what happens. Every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of good and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Be reconciled to God, my family, my friends. Second Corinthians 10, 3 and 5. Notice how our warfare is against thoughts, imagination, and stronghold, and knowledge that comes against the Word of God. These are all processes of our minds, our thoughts. Although he has been beaten, the devil walks about as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. 1 Peter 5, 8. Apart from the power you give him, through believing his lies, Satan can't steal anything from you. He uses your ignorance and not knowing the word, your fear and your unbelief to try to oppress and destroy you. And again, those are some key scriptures, folks. If you guys could write that down, go over this battlefield as we are in a battlefield. Uh, Acts eleven sixteen. Then I remembered the word of the Lord. How he said, John indeed baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Uh, Amen. So we're just kind of getting, I'm going to wrap this up here, folks. And that is it. That's going to do it. So I'm going to wrap up the scriptures for this one, folks. You guys could go ahead and write them down if you'd like. Uh, I want to make sure that you guys have all the important scriptures of the lesson. John 4.24, God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Acts 10.38, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. 2 Corinthians 2.11 least Satan should go uh, get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices. And I'm just going to read these off to you folks. You guys already know these. You get your Bibles. You get, get out some time to study and read the Bible. Get the dust off your books. I I know I used to use it as a beer coaster. I don't do that anymore. I read it. And, and those that know me, you know what's going on with the books that I've got in the Bible and everything. I, I try to apply and read. I don't always do it, but I'm trying. Uh, all right, so Ephesians 6, 10, 12. We got 2 Corinthians 11, 3. Um, we got Genesis 3, 1. Philemon 1, 6. Romans 7.18, Colossians 2.10, John 8.32, and 2 Corinthians 10.3 and 5, and closing it out with Peter. We got 1 Peter 5.8, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about, seeing whom he may devour. My God. All right, well, that is going to arm your souls. That's going to arm you with the Word of God as I've got more work to do as, uh, well, not even work, folks. This is uh, what we are supposed to do. This is what we are intended to do as uh, we get that message out daily, every single day. Uh, Let's get these glasses off. They're just for reading. There we go. Uh, all right, I got more preparation to do. I've got more work to do. Uh, this has been amazing, and uh, totally appreciate you guys hanging out uh, as I update and work on my music for the website here for the site, Life Grace Ministries. Mr. Preacher Rick Rowley here. We uh, will be back. Stay tuned for Facebook and Twitter. You guys need to stay in that word. Uh, I will be back tomorrow. Life Grace Ministries, Minister Preacher Rick Raleigh. Uh, getting that word out, getting that message out on a daily basis. Uh, and uh, stay tuned. Shabbat Shalom, my friends. 
And uh, like and subscribe over there at YouTube, folks. Uh, and uh, don't let the devil sidetrack you, distract you, and throw you off your groove. We got to throw him off his groove. We got to bounce him off his groove. Uh, we got to get up all in his grill and uh, show him what's what. So there you go, my friends. If you could do that, stand strong uh, against the devil. Uh, get up all in his grill, folks. He don't like that when you do that. If you get up all in his grill and you pray to God, give it to God, all your problems, all your situations, all that mess, the madness, turn it over as fast as it hits you and you will be fine. All right, well, that's going to wrap this one up. I hope the sound was a little bit different. I, vo I worked on the uh, volume level and uh, adjusted and connected with uh, some different things here. So uh, I don't know how it's going to sound, folks. But, uh, hey, you know, that's usually uh, usually how things go. And uh, I'll see if I can connect this connector. And, uh, well, that's what happens when you go live, folks. Turn it over as uh, fast as it hits you. All right. So I've got uh, the connection gone up. And uh, see if I can get this. I don't know how it's going to sound, but we're going to we're going to just roll. Uh, where is it at here? We're going to roll with this. Uh, see what I can do. And uh, operate in your gifts, my friends. I don't know how this is going to work, but I'm going to try to do this anyway. And uh, see if I can get something rolling here. I don't know. It's going all over crazy. I've got kind of a a mess up here, so we're gonna try this and uh, see if I can cue this up and uh, see if I can get this. There we go, folks. How it's gonna sound? That is going to wrap it up. You guys have been awesome. That is the outro of my uh, podcast. I uh, recorded that, wrote it, played it, uh, everything on it. And uh, that is uh, off my new Poetic Fire album. So I was just trying to pause in it to see if I can get some tone and stuff. I didn't know how the volume of that was going to come through. So hopefully you guys can hear it and it's not blasting and distorted. But uh, I got a new CD coming out, uh, a few of them coming out, and uh, that uh, is, uh, right. that is gonna wrap it up. There there we go. hopefully that's not too loud, you guys can hear that okay. Uh, Alright, uh, so there we go, we got a little bit of feedback, but that's alright. I will talk to you guys soon, Life Grace Ministries, uh, Minister Preacher Rick Rally here, live, going off the air folks, talk to you soon. That'll do it. So I'll talk to you soon. You guys can hear it too. Amen. It's God bless you. Talk to you soon. Life Grace Ministry, Minister Preacher but, uh, Rick Rowley here. Coming out, uh, a few of them coming out.